Key Tutorial 1 Defining Lambda Lesson 4 In this lesson we learn how to generate formatted documentation from key language definitions. We also learn how to use LaTeX attributes to control the formatting of language constructs, particularly of ones which have a mathematical flavor and we want to display accordingly. To generate PDF documentation, all we have to do is to call compile with the option minus minus PDF. This command generates a lambda PDF file, which contains the formatted key definition. Open this file using your favorite PDF reader. The syntactic details are not shown in the generated PDF, because we typically want to focus on semantics at this stage. The main notational difference between the original .k and the generated PDF is how rules are displayed. In the PDF, the rule left goes to right is replaced by its representation in K, which is harder to write in ASCII. Specifically, left is underlined and right is written under the line. The metaphor here is that the underlined terms change as indicated under the lines. In K, rules can have a more general form than shown in lambda K, where several subterms in a term can rewrite concurrently and atomically. The K rules will be explained in their functionality in the IMP and IMP++ tutorials. To enhance readability, we may want to replace the keyword lambda by the mathematical lambda symbol in the genetic documentation. We can control the way we display language constructs in the genetic documentation by associating them LaTeX attributes. This is actually quite easy. All we have to do is to associate a LaTeX attribute to production defining the constructing question following the LaTeX syntax for defining new commands or macros. In our case, we associate the attribute LaTeX and then lambda first argument dot second argument to the production declaring the lambda abstraction. Recall that in LaTeX, sharp n refers to the nth argument of the defined new command. Let us now compile the new lambda k using the option minus minus pdf and note how the LaTeX attribute is being used in the produced output. Note that there is also a minus minus html option to compile which generates html documentation. We will later see in lesson 9 that we can add arbitrarily complex LaTeX comments and headers to our language definitions which give us maximum flexibility in formatting our language definitions. Now we have a simple programming language with a nice documentation. However, it is not easy to write interesting programs in this language. Almost all programming languages build upon existing data types and libraries. The K tool provides a few of these and you can add more. In the next lesson we show how we can add built-in integers and booleans to lambda so we can start to evaluate meaningful expressions.